I'm gonna cry. Mm. Today we're in Mexico City and we're about to try the best food the city has to offer. Let's go. Whoa, this is nuts. Okay guys, so here we are. We are at Jenny's Quesadillas. So I have a beautiful uh, zucchini flower quesadilla here and one chicken. So this has been like the, the hypest place on TikTok. Apparently it's the best quesadilla in Mexico City. Let's give it a try. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm, wow, very spicy. Ooh, that salsa. Okay, now chicken. Mmm. Mm. Wow, this is so good. Definitely less spicy than the one with the zucchini. Very good, cheesy, nice crispy on the corn tortillas. I like the blue corn too. Nine out of 10. I'm with the chef owner of Mamota, Federico. Let us know a bit about this restaurant of yours. Thanks, Lauren. Uh, so, uh, welcome to Marmota. This is a restaurant focused in the Pacific Northwest. I lived in Seattle for five, six years. So we uh, do focus on a lot of uh, roasted veggies, seafood, comfort food, and uh, wood fire. So, uh, welcome. Welcome to the city. Welcome to the restaurant, Lauren. Thank you so much. And please, enjoy I'm, your I'm stay. starving. Should we go yeah. in? Let's oh, do absolutely. it. All right, let's, let's go. go. Let's do it. <laughs> well, we have uh, kumiai oysters from Ensenada, Baja California. Provençal butter, so basically just parsley, thyme, garlic. We finish it with nutmeg and a drop of fermented habanero salsa. Oh, nice. Oh my God, the butter smells so good. Wow, it's an Montagne de Baron. Steak tartar, the beef we get it from Querétaro. Quail egg, and we just finished with some mustard leaves, marjoram, and some French fries. So it's kind of like a steak and frit, but I love it. That makes me very happy. Yeah. I'm a big tartar fan, so. Let me, give me your honest opinion. I will. Very good. Here we have Huachinango from Ensenada as well, with uh, habanero avocado cream on the bottom, finished with charred tomatillos, lemon, and a side of uh, homemade chimichurri. Wow. Right? That's amazing. What Thank a petite. Oh, no. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, yeah. The best part, baby. Mm. Wow. The story behind this chicken is pretty romantic. But in, in pandemic, every Thursday we would go to a rostisserie and get a whole chicken and, and a bottle of cider or white wine. Were we able to open restaurants after pandemic? I was in Expo and I was like thinking about the chicken, like constantly, like, like let's bring that rostisserie vibe, whole chicken to the restaurant. So. It's a whole chicken smoke with a salsa verde. Instead of the mayo, we do a homemade aioli. The, instead of crisps or chips, we put the new potatoes. That's where this dish uh, was born. Oh my God, this looks so good. We have salsa on there. Oh my God. <laughs> Insane. Oh my God, guys, what a crazy lunch. Beautiful soul, and um, guess what? We are doing a pop-up. I don't know when, maybe this year, next year, we'll see. We're coming back here, and I recommend anyone in Mexico City to stop here, have some good food, good wine, good times. Let's go. After lunch, we decided to go load up on some elote before we went to check out a wrestling match, also called Lucha Libre in Mexico. To me, it's a must. Okay, so we're here guys at the most popular bakery in all of Mexico City. It's called Panaderia Rosetta. We're gonna try a few things. I got a bunch of the pastries here, some sweet, some savory. I just, as a guy, give me your six most popular items. We also have some sandwiches coming. Look at this, how beautiful is this focaccia, eh? Again, very crunchy. Oh my God, this looks so good. Mmm. 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 This is fucking good. Time for the prosciutto and burrata sandwich. Oh my God. <gasps> That looks fucking insane, bruv. Look at this. 
Isn't that sexy? Nothing like a mouthful of burrata and cured meat. All right, let's get in there. Oh my God. They're very gentle on the burrata. Wow, this is so good. Salty, creamy, crunchy. It's amazing. Roast beef, I think there's some Dijon going on in there. Roast beef, sando baby. Oh wow, it looks so good. Mmm. Roast beef, Gouda, Dijon, sourdough, pickles, amazing. So this was Panaderia Rosetta in Roma Norte, Mexico City. As you can see, we got very lucky. There's a big lineup building up. We came here Saturday, craziest lineup because it was a holiday. Sunday, even longer, Monday fucking all the way there and uh, today we came the lineup so you know we're lucky 10 out of 10 you should try it very good if you like uh, sweet stuff savory stuff they got everything you need check it out Entremar, let's do this first course we have a scallop tostadas. Mmm. So good, so fresh. Yeah. That's a breakfast of champion. Next course, we have some beautiful clams here with cucumber and serrano salsa. Let's just give it a try. A little juicy, juicy. Mmm. So fresh. Mm. The cucumber too, it's like, that's crazy. Fresh lamb, fresh cucumber, let's go. Next course, we have some abalone, and we're gonna hit this with a bit of uh, avocado on there. Maybe some uh, habanero on there, a little kick, a little sauce. Perfect. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. It's really nice. Very tender. Mm. Good bite, but tender. Next up, very famous dish here, agua chile. We took the scallops, so let's try it. Let's take a nice little piece here on a chip, some cucumber. Mm. Wow, look at fucking fire. Favorite so far. This is really good. So fresh. Oh my god. So far, number one, agua chile. So if you're in Mexico, guys, there's a pro tip you need to know. When they bring the tortillas. First one's always cold. What you do? For the fresh one. And pass a cold one to your friend. There you go. <laughs> nice little black bean puree. This fish is uh, in the grouper family. And one side they have a parsley crust, and this side is asciote. Let's give it a try. I think I'll do a little mix of both. Some red in here, some green here, a bit of everything. And then on top, some habanero and onion, some lime juice, a little touch of salsa on top. Extra cake. Mm. Oh my god. This is so good. Wow. A very juicy, moist fish, the puree, no cake, juice. Amazing. Amazing. Mm. If you guys know me, you know I have a sweet tooth, so guess what? Getting some desserts. Here we have the very famous strawberry pie or cake. Which looks amazing, full of strawberries. We have here a coconut pie, we have a banana pie, a lemon pie, and a apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Shall we dig in? Let's go. All right. Oh my god. You know it's gotta be good, right? Mm. Mm. Wow, it's <laughs> all good. Mm. Mm. This is insane. Next up, coconut pie. Ooh. Wow. Oh, shit. This is crazy. Mm. My God. Dude. Banana pie. Oh, my God. This looks fucking crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, there's caramel in there, too. Oh, my God. This is going to be crazy. Okay. So good. 
they are all so fucking good. That's a lemon pie, baby. Let's go. Oh my god, this looks crazy. I'm gonna cry. Mm. Nothing so far. It wasn't crazy. This is amazing. And apple pie. Let's see if they can make it as good as home. First of all, vanilla ice cream, real vanilla beans, black little dust. It's good stuff. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like home, you know? This brings me back to my childhood for sure. So you know what? Not surprised, but it's a seafood restaurant and the desserts are fighting to die for. Entremar, baby. Try it. It's amazing. Mm. All right, amigos, we've dived deep into the heart of Mexico City, and let me tell you, it's been a wild ride. From the hustle and bustle of the streets to the vibrant colors of the markets, this place is alive with energy. But you know what, for me, is the people with their warmth and passion who truly make the city shine. Thanks for joining me on this culinary adventure. If you want to see more delicious content from around the world, Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Until next time, keep exploring, keep eating, and keep spreading that love. Hasta luego, amigos.